So part A for this question is really simple. We have a torque needed of 95 Newton meters. And then we have the length of the wrench. And we're going to call this R W. And this is going to equal 28 centimeters or 0.28 meters. At this point, we want to find the force needed on the tr on the wrench in order to have a minimum torque of 95 newton meters. So torque is equal to FR, which means that F is going to equal to torque divided by R. And it's going to be 95 divided by 0.28. And it's going to equal 339.286 newton force needed. Part B is a bit more complicated in the sense that we have a bolt. So at a bolt, I'll try to draw this hexagon. If this was 120 degrees and all of the sides are equal to one another, let's draw the origin right here. This will be O. And then we can say, draw a triangle here and a triangle here, where this can be considered A, this would be considered B, and this can be considered C. And at this point, we can say that this theta is going to be, this angle measure here is going to be theta. And we know that theta equals 30 degrees because this entire angle right here has to be 120. So this theta is 30, this angle right here is going to be 30, and then this angle right here is going to be 60. And we're essentially just trying to create uh, three right triangles. Um, now, all sides are equal length, so that's really important. And uh, bolt, the actual bolt is 15 millimeters across. So we can automatically say that AB, this line from A to B here, is going to equal 7.5 millimeters or 0.0075 meters. At this point, we can say that R is going to equal OB, OB here, plus BC, BC here. This is going to equal to 2 times AB, tan of 30 degrees, and this is simply due to the right triangles that are present here. So tan of 30 would be opposite, which would be uh, opposite here, and then over adjacent. So BC would equal essentially uh, AB times tan of 30 degrees, and OB, because OB is equal to BC, that would also equal AB tan of 30 degrees. So that means that it's going to be R is going to be equal to 2 times AB tan of 30 degrees. So if we were to plug this in, this will be uh, 0 0.0075 tan of 30 degrees times 2. And this is going to equal 0 0.00866 meters. At this point, we know that. Um, torque net is going to equal to 6 times because there's 6 vertex vertices here. So it would be 6 times force on the bolt times R. So this will be 6. Rather, we're trying to find the force on the bolt. So we should isolate that and say that force on the bolt going to equal T net divided by 6R or 95 divided by 6 times 0 0.00866. And this is going to equal 1828.33 newtons. So this will be the force needed on the bolt. And this will be the force needed on the wrench. And that's the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.